Hello again, VC. Dan here, Vinyl Fury, and uh, I'm going to continue with my latest finds. Uh, these are all used records from the last uh, couple weeks or so, all from December. And uh, first off, I got this, I think last week or so, uh, West Montgomery, Willow Weep for me. And uh, this is on Verve, and this is actually a German pressing. Which was nice to find. Um, I bought this uh, originally. I got this a couple months ago, um, but I had to take it back because it was really crackly throughout, even after cleaning it, which was disappointing. But I, I found this much nicer copy. It was eight dollars, but uh, I do need to glue the back cover. It's kind of thin, but uh, sounds great. Uh, a posthumous album from Wes, uh, recorded in '65 and released in '69. Uh, he died in 68, but I uh, really love Wes Montgomery. I need more of his records. Um, this was kind of a surprise. I always take a look in the most deaf section to see if there's, by chance, anything that uh, I don't have. And this was one of those. Uh, this is from the Lyricist Lounge series from 2000, I believe. 2001. This is a track called Jam on it, and uh, it's kind of like an old school flavor uh, track, um, more upbeat, and uh, just his his rapping style is reminiscent of like 80s kind of stuff, which is pretty neat. And this has uh, a main mix, a radio mix, an instrumental, and a extra super extended disco mix. Uh, I've only listened to the main mix so far, but it was a cool track, and it was only like a dollar twenty-five or something. So that was a nice pickup. This was uh, this was a fun one to get. Um, I'm a huge Superman fan, and uh, I stumbled across this. This is sealed uh, from 1974, and it's um, volume two in a series of uh, the original radio broadcasts from the 19. 40s, I think. Yeah. And, uh, it's kind of a weird cover. There's like this wallpaper print behind there and a not really good drawing of Superman. But uh, I, was, I was, I smiled when I saw this. I had to get it. It was only six dollars. Still sealed. So, that was pretty cool. I might keep it sealed for a while. I'll, I'll listen to it eventually. Uh, next we have um, one of the environments records that uh, Derek has shown and talked about and I actually sent him a couple of these uh, when I sent him his uh, contest prizes and um, saw this and I figured I'd give it for myself this is disc number nine and uh, these these records are really interesting um, so you turn your hi-fi into a psychoacoustic device better than pot and safer than booze. It's supposed to be like a, an, uh, an audio stimulation um, through these na uh, natural recordings. Um, on this one, one side is the Pacific Ocean and the other side is the Caribbean Lagoon. And uh, these are said to be really, really well done recordings of these, these sounds. I really like all the information that they provide and the exposition on the, what these records are for. Um, there's a whole lot to read here. Uh, really, really cool. I look forward to taking this for a spin and, and seeing what it uh, what it sounds like, what it, what it feels like. I've got another Jean-Luc Ponty record. This is uh, Enigmatic Ocean from 1977 on Atlantic. Nice sunset picture there. I had this on the turntable. Uh, I was about to listen to it, but I decided to do these videos while I, while I had the chance. Uh, this one was 50 cents. Uh, I think the rest of these were in the 50 cent bins. Uh, this is a fifth of Beethoven by the Walter Murphy Band, which definitely seen before. Uh, it's a very familiar image. 
uh, but I've never heard it. Uh, and this is from 1976 on private stock recordings. Looks like something I'll probably enjoy for 50 cents. This one I was surprised and uh, happy to see in the 50 cent section. This is a Todd Rundgren, um, Hermit of Mink Hollow from 1978. And uh, this has um, Can We Still Be Friends, which I know from the Vanilla Sky soundtrack, and I really like that song, so hopefully I'll enjoy the rest of this as well. I've been to to get this record. And I also found another one of his while I was in there. Uh, Todd Rundgren presents the ever popular tortured artist effect. This one is from 1982. Got another Howard Jones record, 2 1, and this is from 86. And I had gotten this before. I think I got a sealed copy, or a, a copy that looked really nice, but it was pretty warped, so I didn't get a chance to listen to it. I, I found this much better copy for 50 cents. And finally, uh, Graham Nash and David Crosby, their first album. Uh, this is from 72, I think. This is an original pressing with the triple gatefold cover with the die cut and it's also a uni pack so it comes out of here and, uh, this was a fairly good condition for 50 cents and uh, actually this was the first one that I listened to out of that batch and I liked it quite a bit so that completes my um, most recent acquisitions um, probably not going to get too much um, in the coming weeks um, I know the new Deftones record is coming out on vinyl towards the end of the month and I'll definitely get that but uh, other than that I don't I don't really have uh, plans to to acquire much more uh, I got quite a bit uh, recently and still plenty in the inbox so until the next time uh, take care thank you for watching and enjoy your music